FM Cup is a group of ordinary citizens or folks that live in the community who recognized problems and came together to try to um, come up with solutions to the problems. We have Spanish, we have French speaker, we have English speaker in that group. There were hundreds of things that we talked about that were really people loved about Fort Morgan. And then there were several things that really stood out as still needing to be addressed. FM Cup have three topics, education, recreation, and housing. And I'm part of the housing team. Fort Morgan has been working for well over five years on the issue of housing, among other issues. And housing has just been consistent. They've just moved, been moving forward on it. And the more they uncovered, the more like possibility they saw in the work of housing. And so they used their culmination grants to start up and launch their housing resource center. If anybody walks in the door and mentions anything about a place to live, that's what the Housing Resource Center does. We help people with home buyers education. We help with tenant training, foreclosure prevention. And if you're not ready just yet to buy a house, then I will do a budget with you and I will help you build your credit. We have good paying jobs in Fort Morgan. And we have some folks from all over the world that are working in those jobs, but they are not part of the, the systems that help people get established in wealth building. The biggest issues we have is language barrier. Most people who is here is the immigrant people from Africa, so we have like English as our second or third language. Me and my family, we've lived at the same place my whole life. We have never moved just because there's no resources, I guess, that at least my parents knew of because they're only Spanish speakers. So they don't, there's that language barrier that they don't have access to other things and other resources that may be available. <laughs> So we needed a place to help folks, sometimes new arrivals, sometimes people that just have not been invited into like um, conversations about home ownership. You know, it's located in the same building as the Morgan County Family Center, and that's like a that's like a central, well-known nonprofit that provides service to impacted populations all across Fort Morgan. There's services offered in any language uh, of the people of Fort Morgan, so at the very least it'll be in English, Spanish, French, and Somali, but many more, I'm sure. One of the main reasons why I want to have my own place is for me and my son to have that space for us. He had two houses, he wants two. Having a backyard would change a lot, like he would have so much more roaming space and for him to be able to play. It was really exciting to know that there was some help and I just think we need to get that out more and let other people know that there, there are resources and there's stuff available. The resource center have a big impact, positive impact on the community. We want to make people not to visit us, but to live, to stay in this community. It changes, changes the world for people. Once they are able to start building equity in a home, that's generational change. So the combination grant to me is like the start of the next phase of the work. All this make me feel welcome in this city, in this community. Even if we, we speak different language, but we, I think that everybody feel welcome in this community. So we are like, like a family.
that grant is the most amazing thing that's happened in housing in Fort Morgan and ever because this started from such a community driven purpose to like bring more attention to housing in Fort Morgan. This could just be the most incredible opportunity for us to affect people's lives.